What if the Star Wars universe crashed into your Dungeons and Dragons campaign? This is the Player's Dungeon Guide and today we're going to show you six steps to build the original Star Wars hero, Luke Skywalker, in Dungeons and Dragons. So let's get started. Step one, choose a race. For Luke, we didn't want to go too crazy with races, so we start with very human. This is great because it gives us a feat at first level so we can go straight into some of our Jedi tricks. For that feat, we took Magic Initiate. This gives us a nice spell to play with and the perfect flavor spell for Luke, which is, of course, Green Flame Blade. So this can make our sword look like that lightsaber that he uses, and we can even do the noises as we charge into combat. We also gra grabbed Mind Sliver to give us a Jedi-ish attack cantrip and Charm Person so we can wave our hands and say, these are not enjoy to look. Step two, pick a background. Unfortunately, there isn't a farmer background in D&D, definitely not a moisture farmer background, so we took Outlander. This helps us play to the idea of tattooing being on the edge of the universe, where Luke says, if there's a bright center of the universe, you are on the planet that is farthest from. Step three, class. There's loads of choices for classes for Luke, or so we thought when we first started looking at this, we were talking about wizard or sorcerer or warlock, but in the end, none of them seem to particularly fit Jedi and the way that D&D do their spell casting. So in the end we went for the Psy Warrior Fighter subclass. With this we get all the great fighter benefits like action surge, second wind, extra attacks, but it's the Psy part that's what turns this into a Luke Skywalker Jedi build. With this subclass we get a protective shield, psionic strike and telekinetic movement. These all mimic the Jedi abilities we see across the movies. And as we level up, we get psionic leap, which is like mimicking flying, allows us to really leap across the battlefield, and telekinetic thrust, so we can flatten our enemies, again, just like we see the Jedi do it. Step four, abilities. Now, this isn't a typical fighter build, so we didn't go big on strength. Instead, we dumped it all on dexterity as our primary stat. This allows us to take a finesse weapon effectively. We also then went for intelligence, because again, fits with Luke, helps our psionic abilities, and helps us across our proficiency. It's very nice. Step by equipment. Now we are going to be getting into fights with Luke, so we did grab chainmail and a crossbow for range attacks. However, the iconic part of this build is the lightsaber. So for that, we took a rapier, which does a nice effective damage. We can use it with this dexterity, it's a finesse weapon, and we will have green flame blade always on. So it will beautifully mimic that lightsaber when we're fighting. Step six, feats. We get loads of feats for this build. We get one to start with as a very human, but we also get options at fourth, sixth, and eighth level. So to play into Luke's Jedi skills, we took the defensive duelist feat. Hopefully this will allow us to deflect some incoming attacks, maybe even some arrows. Again, really fits in with our Jedi look. Next we took Slasher, one because it's one of our favorites, but it's really good for tying down enemies and create carnage in the battlefield with this. Really lovely. And then the last option, we look to boost our dexterity and intelligence. Helps with the combat, helps us across the board. Very good. And that's a wrap. That is how we built the iconic Luke Skywalker in Dungeons and Dragons. But there are loads of different ways to do it. We'd love to hear how you would do it. Leave the suggestions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more builds and, of course, epic adventures. And thanks for watching.